Greetings my statistics friends. This video is to help us figure out how to utilize our TI-84 or TI-83 calculators to solve problems where there is a lot of computational effort. This is from chapter 3 section 2 question number 18. There's a formula in your book how to figure out the sum squared and how to find the mean and the standard deviation uh, and the variance. What I want to do is show you how to use technology. And here's my philosophy behind that. If you were asked to sum all these things, you're going to use a calculator to do that. If you're asked to square all these things, you're going to use a calculator to do that. Um, to find uh, the uh, standard deviation, you need to use a square root. Uh, calculation and to find the, the variance you're going to have to square the standard deviation so you're going to have to use a calculator to do that and so I look at it this way if I have the calculator in my hand to use the technology I might as well just use the technology that's available to me and not worry so much about the formulas because I'm more concerned about what the numbers actually mean and rely on technology to compute them for me okay so let me show you how to do that. What I did first was I entered all of these numbers into my calculator. So let me show you. So this is my TI-84. And you can see here what my output screen looks like easily. And over here on the left is the numbers I actually type. So for the statistics class on a TI-84 and a TI-83, there are two main menus that we're going to use in statistics. The first one is stats, the stats menu. And you see things, uh, they edit, the sort, the clear list. Then over there's calculate. And then over there's test. So that's the main menu that we use most of the time. Then the other menu we use sometimes is this VARS menu. Um, but above the VARS is the DISTR, the distribution. So if I hit second and then VARS, I'm going to the blue DISTR distribution. And it pulls up all these different distributions and you'll use this uh, for chapters later on. So these are the two menus, the stats menu and this distribution menu are the two ones that we use most of the time and uh, for the stats class. So for chapter three, uh, for this example, I'm going to use this uh, stats menu and then I want the edit. So I'm going to edit a list and I can either press the number one to get to the edit list or I could just hit enter since that's already highlighted. So I'm gonna press one. And in L1, I have already uh, listed all those numbers out. So I wanna point out something here over in L3. Uh, how do I do that? Well, I type 29.68 and then I hit enter and then it puts the first number in. I put 34. Point eight six and that's the next number and then let's say I made a mistake let's say I typed 7.1 and hit enter and then I realized uh oh that's a mistake it's supposed to be 17.1 so to fix that mistake I just push the up arrow and I have two options option one is I can retype 17.1 and hit enter and it'll overtype it the other option is I can push up and actually hit delete and the number will go away. So let's say I accidentally typed in too many numbers uh, on a list. So now I've got 17.1, then I've got 23.02. Okay, so let's say that now I'm work I've got all these typed in, and let's say I'm working on uh, a new problem, and I want to get rid of all the numbers in this list. So I want to start over. So how do I do that? Well, if I scroll all the way up to the top, and I highlight the header of the column L3, I can clear everything out of the list. Now here's a warning. Do not use the, the delete button. If you use the delete button, it will delete L3 column from your memory. So then you'll have L1, L2, L4, L5, L6, and so on. Don't use that because you've deleted the column of L3 and you have to figure out how to put it back in and that is actually quite a challenge to do on the TI-84 uh, and 83. Instead, use the clear button. Don't use delete for the whole column. Use the clear button. So when I hit clear and then enter, it clears out the column. 
instead of deleting L3 so that the I can never use L3 list again. Okay, so now I have everything in L1 that I wanted. I've typed all those numbers in. So then I hit statistics again, the stat menu, and I go over to calculate. So I use my one arrow over, and I want one variable statistics. So I hit enter, or the number one, either one will work. And then it says the list, and then I put here in the list where I've put the numbers. I put them in L1. That's the default, by the way. But let's say I put them in L3. What would I? How would I change that? Well, I would hit second, and then down to the number three to put in L3. So I hit second, and then see the blue number above the three? That's the L3 list. So I put them in L1 here, so I'm going to change that to L1. i got to clear these out and do second L1. And then I put in the frequency is leave it blank because uh, each number is being used once. If it was each number being used twice, I'd put a 2. If each number is being used uh, uh, five times, I'd put a 5, but we're only using it once. And then I uh, scroll down to calculate, arrow down to calculate, and I hit enter and it calculates all these numbers for me. Okay, so in here I have uh, the mean, the sum of x, the sum of x squared, the standard deviation uh, for s, the standard deviation for sigma, the number of variables 14, the min, the first quartile, the median, uh, by the way, um, the Q3, the max, all those numbers are there for me. That's the statistics for that group. And so what I'm going to do is answer these questions. So I want the sum of X, and it says to uh, two decimal places. So the sum of X is 317.1. So 317.1. And the sum of X squared is 82. 58.349, so rounded that's 35.35. 8258.35. And then uh, my X bar is 22.65. And my standard deviation is a 9.097. But I'm supposed to round that to two decimal places, so uh, that would be round the 9 to a 10, so 9.1010. And uh, our TI-84 doesn't give us the variance, but if I have the standard deviation, I can find the variance. So how do I do that? Well, I go back to my home screen by clicking second and then mode, so second mode. And what that's really doing is second and then quit, because that's the blue. And I type in 9.097 uh, and then square it. And I type that and I get 82.75, so that's 82.76. And I enter that number in, 82.76. And then the, the next part C is asking me to calculate Chebyshev's interval. Well, the lower limit of Chebyshev is uh, the mean minus two standard deviations. So let's do that. So the mean, which was uh, 22.65 minus two times the standard deviation, so 9.097, and that tells me 4.456, so 4.5, 4.46, if I round the two decimal places, uh, 4.46, and then the upper limit for Chebyshev, 75% uh, oval, is the same number, so if I have a TI-84, I can just go up and highlight it and change the minus to a plus. If you have a T83, you have to retype the whole thing, but uh, with, a, with a plus symbol. But I can just copy and paste it. So that's 40.84. So 40.84. 
and then I'll let you read about this stuff and uh, answer that. And then the compute the sample coefficient of variation. Well, that is a standard deviation. So the standard deviation is uh, 9.097 divided by the, uh, the mean, which was 22.65. Multiply by 100 to change it into percentage. So 40.16. So 40.16%. Uh, 40.16. And then notice, don't put the percent sign because they already put the percent sign there for us. And then I'll let you read about and, and figure out how to answer those other things as well. And you should do the same thing for Y. Now be careful. This video will have different numbers than your homework assignment has. Um, so be very careful about that. Um, don't just copy my numbers because your numbers will probably be slightly different. Okay, I hope this helps. A little tutor guide on how to use your calculator. Uh, don't be afraid to use technology to uh, power through some of these formulas and uh, leaving, leave doing it by hand uh, to another class.